what was the best part about this past week? Because I mean, so you right now we're filming this on a Thursday or it's Wednesday. I don't even know if it's Wednesday. Wednesday. See, I don't know what day yeah, it is. I know, right? <laughs> so it's Wednesday. <laughs> You've been retired. Like, what's been the best part of three days? And my other question that I'm really curious selfishly about is. Since you started your traditional nine to five, what's the most amount of days off in a row that you've had? Oh, okay. Two, two good questions. So the first one, there's probably two things. The first question being like, what are the two, two things that I like enjoyed most? Yeah. The first one being, being able to kind of like, you know, let's say I'm up here working upstairs. Right. And I know my wife, daughter and son are downstairs and they're going to go outside or they're going to do whatever. If I want to take an two hour lunch or a three hour lunch and just go downstairs, eat with them, you know, go throw the ball with my son or, you know, chase him around the backyard or do whatever that right there. Like that is worth a million bucks to me. So that is by far the number one, like my most favorite thing about this new switch of lifestyle that I have is just the freedom to kind of choose what I want to do and when I want to do it. Mm -hmm. Because they go to bed around eight o'clock. So I'm like, well, I'll just go up at eight o'clock and just do what I need to do. And, you know, and just kind of get that stuff done then and just spend the time with them now, especially on the day like we had today. It was beautiful outside. Right. Second thing is, is something that I have lacked in a lot these past two years. And that is myself, my physical self. So growing up in college, you know, I was always a, you know, gym goer. I loved working out. It was just, it was a, it was another passion of mine. And as I'm grinding on my nine to five, as I'm grinding in my side hustle, which is now my full-time gig, you gotta, you gotta let go of some things to free up some time to focus elsewhere. And that thing for me was working out. I completely just, I stopped doing it because I was like, if I really want to get to where I want to go, working out is just, it's got to be put on the back burner. Now I know some people may disagree with that and say your health needs to be your number one, most important thing, which I, I believe in. I, I get it, but here's the thing knowing that I could grind to get where I wanted to be, where I am now, I don't regret it one bit, but now I'm ready to go tenfold as hard as I can to get back into the shape and turn 30 being in better shape than I was, you know, 21 year old JJ. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> those are the two things that I think is, is like the biggest, the freedom of time just to go do whatever I want. And it's funny. I, I gotta, I gotta tell the story real quick. No, go. It's your show. <laughs> My boss, this felt so good. Me and him are really good friends. You know, we had, he's like a little older than I am, which he's your former boss, my former boss. <laughs> there you Thank you for that. My former boss. Uh, I mean, he's, he's in his younger thirties. So he, and they, they run a multi-million dollar construction company. One day him and I got into it and we were typical construction argument. We were yelling, cussing back and forth at each other because I was showing a plate. And I was showing up late because I was doing work at night too. I, I, you know, I got client phone, you know, ringing my phone all the time at night. So like, I didn't think it was a big deal to show up half hour late or whatever. Well, he, he, he didn't think so. So <laughs> my last day that I had of my job, okay. I said, I was like, Tim, I was like, yo man, I said, you can't yell at me anymore for being late. You can go suck it. <laughs> it felt so good. It felt so good. And like, like I said, me and Tim, like we're tight. We're friends. He got a kick out of it. He understood where I was coming from because he's his own boss too. So he totally gets it. But it was just so cool to like turn that back around and be like, yeah, you can shove it. You know what I mean? So 